Hey everyone, so I just finished work about eight minutes after my shift ended just to help out a fellow coworker, And um, I decide, I'm trying to decide uh, if I have time of course during Canada Day, whether I'll go through like each of my one six scale figures or not. So I can show you what I like and dislike and whether I think it's worth the money or not. But we'll see. All right, so yeah, uh, I'm thinking about doing that tomorrow, not today, tomorrow. Uh, Cause one, it's Canada Day and two, I figure I don't really have much to do tomorrow. I mean, to go wrong. I'm so also celebrating my mom's birthday, which also somehow landed on Canada's day, which I'm kind of jealous just because of the fact that she never has to worry about working on her birthday cause her birthday lands on a holiday kind of wish my birthday landed on a holiday but like a holiday that you can actually take off or that you don't have to take off I mean because it's an automatic you don't work that day thing like Christmas or New Year's Day or something like that you know by the way I got the uh, a while ago or about a week or so ago I got the uh, Invincible Ultimate Collection Volume 1 and, and which is I believe about 13 issues and to be, to be honest pretty much it is how first season is no don't get me wrong there are some things missing uh, and some things changed around like for example uh, Invincible's girlfriend and the, the comics I believe she's a ginger, just like Adam Eve. But in the show, she's an African American or African Canadian. I'm not, to be honest, I'm not sure whether the show is based in Canada or not, or the comics based in Canada or not. I'm just not 100% sure. <laughs> just due to the fact that, uh, uh, what's his name? The guy that plays Invincible. Uh, in the TV show, he's wearing, uh, when he was a kid, he was wearing a Canada shirt. So I don't know whether that means that he's been to Canada and he got that, sh and the parents got that shirt for him, or they're from Canada and they're supporting Canada. I'm not sure. But, anyways, um, but yeah, like the 13th issue pretty much ends like the first season ends. I would say almost word for word. So I mean, I do mean, like I said, certain things changed a little bit, but that's because the TV show changed a little bit. So, but anyways, um, but yeah, don't get me wrong. Like I am gonna be celebrating my mom's birthday and my brother and his wife and uh, their newborn baby or three month old baby. It might be coming over tomorrow. That's uh, right now it's a 50 50. Baby's awake, he'll, they'll be coming over. If the baby's asleep, then they won't be coming over pretty much. So we'll see how things go. Kind of, I kind of hope he does come because I like to see him again. Take a few pictures, but, anyways. Um, what else, what else, what else? Oh, uh, the latest monthly subscription thing for Fortnite, uh, you get the character Loki, I believe you get Black Back Bling, a screensaver, and if you already have the, uh, what's it called? The, uh, the Battle Pass, I think you get like 950 V-Bucks or something like that which isn't that bad. But I mean, if you don't have the battle pass, then you, that's what you get. Now, I'm not saying you get all 100 levels, but you get like, I think the first like 15 or 25 or something like that, which isn't that bad. I already have the battle pass and I'm already at like level 400, 140 something. So anyways, 
Uh, I'm thinking about getting volume two for the Invincible thing. But if when I do get it, it will most likely be uh, either at the end of the, uh, today or at some point tomorrow before I go to bed. So, anyways, uh, whenever you watch this, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night. And I haven't said that in a while. And hopefully you found this somewhat interesting and not too boring. Bye-bye.